Hey, hey, it's this thing called Tori, guys, doing it. It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Leicester City career mode. This is episode number three, and you guys once again had to decide something. It seems like you guys really enjoyed the fact that I changed the formation and that Mahrez is now playing a lot better. I've seen a lot of comments saying that you're really happy that Mahrez is finally stepping up. It's the same for me. I love this guy. I just want him to improve, and this is the way to do it. Also, we had a voting on Robert Hood, the centre-back, who is sadly getting really old right now, so... You guys have decided whenever he goes down to that rating, he will now, or not now, then be replaced by one of our center backs. Either it is going to be more, either, either, uh, either, either, I don't know. Well, let's just forget about it. Before the Barcelona match, you can now see that Leicester's new hero is Bruno Perez, our new right back. Seems to do a great job so far. Also, Marcello continues to perform. That is great. He had an amazing episode in the last one. Hopefully, he can just continue to score some amazing goals and get some assists as well. But in this one, we are playing against Barcelona. Our Champions League group is filled with Inter, Barcelona and AS Saint-Etienne. So, I'm looking forward to the first match against Barcelona. For this match against Barcelona, my only goal is to get one point out of this match. So... Hopefully, I can just try and defend and do my best against the beasts like Iniesta, Messi, Suarez, Neymar. But also, guys, smash that like on the beat drop. Coming in right now. Barcelona against Leicester City in the Camp Nou Stadium. It is the biggest match so far for Leicester City. Probably in their whole history. I don't know. I am... Um... I don't think there's a bigger match to play. I mean, Barcelona in the Camp Nou. Let's get straight into it. Oh, no. Oh, no. How did he get past me like that? No. Why am I losing the ball? Schmeichel is not even moving, man. He knows. In the 26th minute, we have a free kick. Marcello has scored one already. Can he score one more time? Let's see it. Marcello and hits the crossbar. No. We could have taken the lead against Barcelona. Why am I changing players this often? A good cross and good defending from Albrighton. He joins in for Vadilo, who got injured, by the way. If you guys didn't... No. no. Come on. No, come on. Come on, Johnny. What the hell, man? Why do I do this? Man, I just... We have gotten another free kick. 34 yards out. Let's try this, Michael. Oh! It's a decent shot, but it's not good enough. Marcello with two shots on target already. Jamie? Hold on! Jamie Marty against Barcelona! Can he score? Oh my god, no! Riyad Mahrez! No! No! This did not just happen! No way! No freaking way! Mahrez! My god, look at that shot! That is insane! I have never seen anything like this in any of my career modes from that angle to score a goal like that. Mahrez, thank you, buddy. First half just ended assisting coaches, and a couple of teams are also playing right now. You can see Mahrez is going down on stamina. He might be subbed off towards like the 60th minute, but so far, I'm happy with 1-1. One, one. I will try to keep it that way. Can we do it one more time? Jamie Vardy hits the post and then Albrighton picks it up and scores. It's 2-1 for Leicester City in the Camp Nou. <coughs> My voice is cracking down. <coughs> yes! Jamie Vardy. Jamie Pass it through. Go on. Go on. Can I score one more time? Barcelona. No, it was offside. It was offside. Come on. Three goals against Barcelona. It's the 17-9th minute as I am making some changes. Mares is going out. Kramaric joining in. And then we are making two defensive changes for the center midfield position. Hoping that we can hold on to the 2-1 lead against Barcelona. I cannot believe I'm actually saying this. No. No, Suarez! Oh my god, what a shot from Suarez. Please, ref. Yes, I've beat 
Sporting Barcelona on legendary with Leicester City. I cannot believe this. And most important thing is that Riyadh scored the best goal I have scored on FIFA 16. I, was it the best goal? I would say the most unexpected goal or maybe maybe the best. You guys can decide. I was not expecting it, especially against Barcelona. Scoring that makes it really special. Wow! I have just won against Barcelona and it still hasn't sunk in. I still cannot believe it. It is so unreal that I was able to beat the best team in the world with Leicester City. It just makes no sense at all. Like, honestly, I can see the comments saying, Oh, you didn't play on Legendary. Oh, you had sliders on. Oh, fuck off! I'm sorry, but no, I am not doing anything like that. This is just pure luck. You saw me win against Barcelona and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. And now we are playing against Spurs, who are in the third position in the league. We are in the first posi pos position with uh, 13 points. And this could be an interesting matchup. Chelsea and Spurs have already lost one match. Manchester City, Everton, Stoke City and ourselves are the teams that are unbeaten still. <sighs> Okay, I just have to calm down. I have to refocus because I'm known for winning against big teams But I'm also known for losing against small teams It's not that Spurs is a small team, but right now after beating Barcelona Spurs seems like a small team to me Coming over through the right hand side because Rodriguez just completely wrecked one of their players And he has the pace to just get through on his own. Here we are with Jamie, freaking body, can he finally score it? It's just not happening. What the hell, man? No, no Spurs. Don't do this, Spurs. Don't do it. Why, Schmeichel? Can you please explain, Schmeichel? What just happened there, man? I hope it was deflected. Once again, one of those goals where Schmeichel just doesn't look good. I mean... He is so amazing in certain positions. I just get angry because I love this guy. I really like the way he plays. Oh, okay, okay. I'm taking everything back. Schlup, what the hell are you doing, mate? Why is Schlup in the middle all the time? Townsend now getting inside. Schlup finally gets to it. Now they still have it. Townsend gets inside again. This could be the second goal for Spurs. And it will be. But it's offside. Yes! 63rd minute and Mares is going out. It's time for Kramaric in there. Pauls in on the left hand side and Gray on the right hand side. I have to try my best. Let's go. Over to Schlup. Schlup has some space. Over to Paulsen. Paulsen. Get in there, son. Get in there, son. Paulsen. 90th minute. Didn't work out. The match is done. Wow, everything that I said before the match just went wrong. I said we were unbeaten, we lost our first match. I said we didn't score any, uh, we didn't concede any goals so far, and we conceded one. I'm never saying anything like that again. Gore is going up, and Mahrez is going up. At least two good messages. After that terrible match against Spurs, I tried and tried, it didn't work out, so... Luckily, Mahrez has now gone up and Gore, the big talent, also goes up to the 64 rating. It's time again, guys. I don't want no capital. So let's just see me the way. I don't want no capital. Hopefully, we we'll lose this one. Please. Go on. Bam. Yes. Come on, we lost. Finally, I hate this cup. After our loss against Spurs, Chelsea and Spurs are in the first position, so to say, with 15 points. We are in the third position with 13 points. Man points. Uh, Manchester City and Everton are chasing us, and our next opponent is Crystal Palace. Leicester City up against Crystal Palace, my former club, and Yusuf Palzen is returning to play against them. This is going to be a good match, even though Palzen is on the bench, but he will probably join in later on. All right in, into the middle. Now, Kante has some space, shoots, hits the crossbar. Come on, man, I would just want to score one of these again. 
Dante or Schlupp, whoever. Come on, man. Someone get to this ball. Terrible. Now, Mares. Go on, Mares. Wait for him. Here we go. All Brighton. Back into the team after Radilo is injury. And that is Jamie Vardy. Yes, finally scored again. Jamie Vardy is back on the scoring sheet. Yes. Come on, mate. I've been waiting for so long. I've been trying for so long. And finally, it has worked out. Jamie Vardy gets to it and scores the first goal against Crystal Palace. Oh, Bruno Perez making a great run. Through to Jamie. And he gets to it. Mares. No, I didn't think that he would get to it. Yes. Here we go. Counter-attacking chance. Jamie Vardy on the run. The pass is great. Jamie, go on, mate. Cut inside. Shoot. Again. Yes, he scores his second goal in this match. He is back, boys. Jamie Vardy scores again. Yes. Come on. Finally. Finally, he scores. Man, I would, I've been waiting for this for so long because I was thinking, no, I do not want to sell this guy. I do not want to replace him. I want the legend to continue. And that is what I want to see from a guy that has been struggling two goals in one match. Now through to Markello. He's still on it. Markello still waiting. Now finding Mares. No, not Mares. That is Vardy, mate. What are you talking about? Vardy gets through. Shoot. Nah. Offside. And here they go. I see someone. Oh, that is a... <gasps> no. <laughs> Thanks, Schmeichel. That was a tough one. 90th minute plus five minutes added on. And now maybe a counter-attacking opportunity with Jamie freaking Vardy. Vardy has more pace. Kramaric making a great run. Vardy through to Kramaric. Ayer joining in. And it is 3-0. Yes, the youngster has scored. The centre midfielder probably scoring his third goal maybe. Or his second goal for Leicester City in his career. Jamie Vardy once again involved in that one. Kramaric with the assist for Ayer. Destruction! It is done! It's 3-0 with an amazing performance from Jamie Vardy. He is now back again. Hopefully he can continue this form in the next episode. Great goal, Jamie. I'm loving it. What an amazing episode this has been so far. Mahrez scoring an incredible goal. Jamie Vardy with his comeback. And throughout all of this, the team was performing really well. Sadly, we lost against Spurs, but we have beaten Barcelona. And then the last match as well, we got a victory. And uh, Crystal Palace was a tough opponent, let me tell you that. Inter is now on three points in our group. We are on three points as well in the Champions League. Barcelona and Saint-Etienne on zero. Why didn't you guys tell me? I didn't see anyone commenting about the fact that I do not have any scouts out looking for talent right now. So let's send these guys... Actually, no. I want to see you assistant coaches comment down below to which country I should send my scouts to and with which instructions. Let me know in the comments down below. Assistant coaches, once again, thank you so much for all the comments. I read through all of them. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this amazing episode. Take care. Smash that like before you go. And peace. That, that is peace. Not this. That is peace.